Hey everybody, it is Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. I had so much fun the other day making some little pieces of guest check ephemera to be ready to put into the journals that I make. And I thought I would just share the process. I have some of the imitation vanilla extract. I don't always use this on the book pages. Sometimes I do because I really like it, but I know that not every, you know, person who journals wants to have that scent in their journal. It's, it's very nice, but I also think about the fact that formulations can have sugar and I just don't know over time how that will affect things. Now, I have my own journals that have this in, in them and I love them, so no worries there, but I do enjoy using this on some pieces of ephemera because you can take these out. And the stain on this is just a really pretty color. So let's get these, get just a few of these distressed a little bit. Get the back as well. That needs to rest a little bit. That spray bottle is not the not the easiest. I also happen to have a tea mixture on the desk. So we will just paint the back of this with the tea stain. You can imagine how good the workshop smells though after using tea and vanilla. Okay, I'm gonna dry these off and I will be back. Oh, this is my favorite time of day. I'm still drinking coffee and it seems like the world is not, the world is awake. <laughs> I sleep a little later maybe than a lot of people getting up at, you know, five, six, and seven to go to work, but it seems like life hasn't really started yet today. So I'm just out here playing and drinking coffee and this is just, I love this time of day. Now that these are dry, I'm just going to distress the edges with this tiny little, um, Distress ink pad. Just, it's okay if it's a bit messy. Some of it's probably going to be covered up, but maybe not. I don't know if I will glue anything right at the outer edge. I had the most fun yesterday, the most fun. And if you hang around until the end of the video, you will see why. It's a wonderful day with family. Okay. I have this book that sits on the floor right next to my feet. It has a lot of just really fun text pages in it. And I think we will take out just a few, a few pages that we can tear text from. I love, oh, that's pretty. I love the old uh, typewritten pages, and somewhere in here I do have a stack of those typewritten pages. I really want an old typewriter, but we shall see. At any rate, this will do for now. And I am just going to start layering. I like that this says the voyage and pieces of eight. I might, I might, uh, Let's see, we've got this straight edge here. I can either completely tear that down. Let's tear, we'll put it this way so we can read it. Let's get some glue, not too much. And now let's get this box of, oh, there's some typewritten pages there. Oh, she's pretty. I can put her there on those corners just the tiniest bit. I also have my butterfly die cuts from the Dollar Tree. I like these little ones for this. And I tend to cut out this piece where the antennae are because there's so much just white sort of card stock in that. And it looks more natural to draw them on after you've glued it into place. I really kind of like the butterfly at the top. Something else, you know, this is perforated here, so you can tear that little piece off if you decide to. So I don't like to glue anything right over the perforation. Let's put this 
here. The stamps are always pretty. Oh, there's a neat stamp. That's got the knight on the horse. That's Portugal. And then something else that I really like. Do you ever use just part of an ink stamp? So this is where it comes in very handy to have a small ink pad. I'm only gonna ink this. It's like a symbol or a, a postmark. I'm only gonna ink that part. I'm gonna write like just in this area. So I'm just gonna lay this down on the, oh, that's so pretty. I love that. I've been using this stamp a lot, especially just for that. I think it is so pretty. I did find another new stamp last weekend. I have not even tried it yet. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't look like it's doing. It's hard to tell with stamps. Oh, that is pretty. Definitely like that. I always hesitate to buy these that are just so full of everything because they can come out, you know, not very distinct. This is from Hero Arts, 2003. It's really pretty. Okay, I do like that. So I'm gonna make a few more of these and I will be back. Oh, I love the way these turned out. I made five of these and I think they're so pretty. They are going to be beautiful just to put into journals. These would be beautiful to send to patrons. I, I'm definitely going to be making more of these, but I wanted to go ahead and stop the camera at this point. It's really just a simple formula and there's nothing wrong with doing the same thing over and over again if it works. The guest check is distressed, and then we have a layer of text. We have a beautiful image. In this case, I have been cutting images from an art book that I found in the thrift store. We have a butterfly, and I did go back and draw the little antennae on the butterfly with a Sharpie, an ultra fine tip. And we have postage stamps, and then an ink stamp. I didn't do the ink stamp on that one yet, but it's because I got sidetracked. Let's go ahead and do that. It's because I got sidetracked putting some extra layers onto that guest check. And you don't have to layer just paper. Now I kind of grabbed the closest thing to me and I will show you that. Let's just get this ink stamp on here. There, oh, isn't that beautiful? It just adds a whole extra layer this is just a piece of scrap wire through a grommet, and the grommet was used to put an old ticket down, and I layered a little charm here that says made with love. And again, I did this really quickly. You could put more thought into it and start layering things that are more grungy or distressed. You could layer pieces of lace. There's just no limit, and these turn out so pretty. I love to have things like this just ready to go for the journals that I make, um, especially when I'm doing just plain journals that don't have a lot of embellishing. They're really ready for the recipient to embellish and distress and do whatever they want to. But it is fun to have ephemera paper clipped in so that they have some things for inspiration or just to decorate the journal to start out. And of course, these can be written on, on the back, like journal cards. They're just a lot of fun. I hope this inspired you. Um, I wanna show you what I was up to yesterday. Get some video of, I want the video of Ellie. Just push the button. No, don't push it, it's already running. Oh, oh that's so good. That's Ellie. Will the sound be on there too? Yeah, but I can edit it. At this point, I'm just doing a voiceover because there were so many conversations going on. But you can see Eli here. My mom and my stepdad have two great white Pyrenees. So they have Eli and Ellie. And then there's my son John waving. So at the table over there, my son Joseph, John, and then my sister Andy. 
and I definitely wanted you to see these beautiful dogs. Ellie is only seven months old. And oh my goodness, Ellie was so patient with the youngest member of the family. Ellie came from a family that had two young children, so she's very patient with children, which is good for all of us. As you can see, we had a great time. Thank you for staying till the end. Bye for now.